hey everyone, this is a medical terminology, the basics lesson specifically on color. So in this lesson, we're going to talk about different prefixes and suffixes that denote different colors. So to begin, the prefix chromo and chromato stand for color. You can think of chromatic when you think of these prefixes. Other ones that are related or relatable to colors, and I wanted to dis discuss in this lesson, include the suffix opaque, which really stands for the word opaque, which really means non-transparent. And you can think of the other suffix lucent, which stands for transparent. And the reason I wanted us to discuss this quickly, opaque and lucent, is when we use it in uh, x-rays and we look at imaging. Radio opaque, as we would say, is something that is bright. Radio lucent transparent. We can see right through it. The x-rays go right through it. Another term I wanted just to quickly talk about is the prefix photo, which stands for light. So you can think of photon, you can think of photography. These all are related to the prefix photo, which means light. So moving on to colors specifically. So the color red is the first one we're going to talk about in this lesson. Red has many different prefixes that denote it. One of them is erythro, so you can think of erythrocyte. Another one is eosino. Another one is rubri or rubro. And another one is road. The next color we're going to talk about is the color blue. The color blue is denoted by the prefix cyano. So you can think of um, cy cyanosis, those types of words. The next color we're going to talk about is green. Green is denoted by the prefixes chloro. So you can think of chlorophyll. The next color we're going to talk about is yellow. Yellow stands for, or the prefixes that stand for yellow include several different prefixes. One of them is flav or flavo. Another one is jaund or jondo. This comes from a French word jaune. So it's, you can think of the word jaundiced. Another one is lute or luteo. And for the previous lute or luteo, you can think of corpus luteum. So yellow body, that's what it means. Next one is xantho. And another one is cirrhose. So you can think of cirrhosis all kind of in the context of jaundice. The next color we're going to talk about is orange. Orange is denoted by the prefix cirrhose. And you can also use carotene. And this is not quite uh, what this means, but really carotene is a chemical compound that has the color of orange. So sometimes we use carotene as a way of describing the um, condition of appearing orange. So you, as you can notice here, cirrhose, this, the prefixes cirrhose are used for both yellow and orange. It actually kind of stands for both. It kind of stands for a yellowish orange type of color. The next color we're going to talk about is the color pink or rosy. And this is denoted by the prefix rosio. So this is an easy one to remember. Just think of uh, rosy, rosio. Um, some medical terms that you might come across with this prefix include roseola or rosacea, those types of words. The next color we're going to look at is brown. Brown is denoted by the prefix fuchsia or fuchsia. The next color is gold. And gold is denoted by the prefix chryso or chryso. And the next color we're going to talk about is purple. And this is denoted by a couple of different prefixes. The first one is purpuro. So this is an easy to remember. You can think of purple, purpuro. So pur is in both. The next one is porphyro. So porphyro, again, you can think of P for purple, P for porphyro. That might help you remember. And some examples for these, for and some examples with words that might contain these prefixes include purpura or pur porphyria. For the next color, or more like a contrast, is white. So white is denoted by the prefix leuco. You can think of leukocyte. 
Also, it's denoted by albin or albino, so you can think of albinism. And another one is albus. And another prefix that stands for white is canned, so you can think of candida. The next one we're going to look at is black. Black is denoted by the prefix melano, so you can think of melanocyte or you can think of melanoma. And it's also denoted by the prefix nigra or nigro, so you can think of substantia nigra. Gray is denoted by the prefix polio. And glauco, so you can think of glaucoma. Another prefix is tephro. And for silver, it's denoted by the prefix argent. So now that we've learned all those colors and other related words, let's put them to practice. The first practice problem we're going to look at is the word hyperkeratinemia. So let's break that down. Hyper, hyper means high level or a lot. Keratin or carotene, as we learned, is carotene. Carotene is a chemical that has an orange pigment. So really, when we say keratin or carotene, we can think of an orange pigment. And the suffix emia, emia means blood condition. So when we put it all together, hyperkeratinemia means a blood condition pertaining to high levels of orange pigments known as carotene. So sometimes when you see a patient that's very orange, they might have hyperkeratinemia. The next practice problem we're going to look at is the word xanthoma. So let's break that down. Xanth, xanth prefix means the color yellow. And oma stands for tumor or mass. So when we put this together, xanthoma means yellow tumor or a yellow mass. But what xanthoma really means is it's a deposition of cholesterol material. And cholesterol is yellow. So it's actually still kind of what it actually means, a yellow tumor tumor or yellow mass. The next word we're going to look at is melanocyte. So again, we break this down. Melano, we've learned the, that the prefix melano means black. And the suffix site means cell. So melanocyte is really a black or a dark cell. And it really is a skin cell that produces melanin. The next practice problem we're going to look at is a leukocyte. So again, we break it down, leuco, site. So leuco means white. We've learned that site means cell. So a leukocyte is a white blood cell. So that's very easy. The next one is erythroderma. So again, let's break it down. Erythro means the color red. And derm or derma means a skin condition. So erythroderma, when we put it together, is an inflammatory condition involving reddening of the skin. And the next word we're going to look at is cyanosis. Cyanosis, so if we break that down, cyan or cyano means blue. And osis is an abnormal condition. So when we put it together, cyanosis is an abnormal condition of a blue appearance of tissues. And this is really due to a decreased oxygen level. So anyways, guys, I hope you found this lesson helpful. This was a medical terminology, the basics lesson specifically on color. So I hope you found this lesson helpful. If you did, please like and subscribe for more lessons like this one. Also, please check out my other medical terminology lessons. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you next time.